What's up guys, we're back with another educational video and this week we are talking about set number and volume and its effects on strength and muscle hypertrophy. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. So recently, there was published a new human randomized control trial. Make sure you pick up your t-shirt at the link in the description at the BioLane store. Recently, there was a new human RCT looking at the effects of different set volumes over eight weeks in trained athletes and their effects on strength and hypertrophy in the barbell back squat and the bench press. They had them do either three, six, or nine sets of barbell back squats and bench press three times a week for eight weeks. And they looked at the effects on strength and some other markers of like recovery and perception of fatigue, those sorts of things. And what they found was six and nine sets were better than three sets for strength over this eight week time period. I actually just got off the phone with Dr. Mike Zordos, who is a researcher at FAU. His lab has produced some amazing research on strength and hypertrophy over the years, and he's been at the forefront of periodization, as well as hypertrophy and strength research. And he is someone who is a researcher who lifts, he has competed in powerlifting, He's squatted over 500 pounds, I think when he was 165 pounds. So strong guy, applies the knowledge, the kind of thing I like to see. You can find individual studies that show that less volume is as good as higher volumes for hypertrophy and strength. But if we did a force plot of these studies, what you would find is if you did one side favoring more volume, one side favoring less volume, almost all these studies would be to the side favoring more volume. Not each study may be statistically significant because again, with resistance training studies, you're dealing with low subject number. These things are hard to recruit for. Like in this study, they're having to show up to the, the research lab three times a week to do these exercises. So it's hard to recruit for this stuff and it's hard to get enough subjects. Some people would take home from this, well, there is no difference between six and nine sets. That means the benefits cap out at six sets and you don't need to do any more sets. Well, maybe, but the problem is the directionality still continues. It's just that there was too much variation in the data and if they had more subjects, they might have seen significant differences. And that's also why when we do meta regressions of volume studies, looking at, I'm thinking of James Krieger's meta regression and some things that Brad Schoenfeld has done, they pretty much show a dose response of volume. Now, you do get diminishing returns over time. This is probably like an asymptote where as you add more volume, you still get more benefits, but it's way less than the benefits you were getting early on, lower in set number by adding more volume. It becomes at a certain point impractical to add more volume because you just run out of time to be in the gym. If we look at the directionality of all the combined studies, we see more volume is better for hypertrophy and strength. Now, some people will say, well, I did higher volumes, it didn't work, and when I did lower volumes, I got better gains. That may be true for a snapshot in time for some people, but those are people who are likely under-recovered, not sleeping well, a lot of psychological stress, and not eating well or in a deficit. And at those points, they may have felt better on lower volume because you can only elicit the gains from volume up to the point that you can recover from. And if you're not sleeping well, if you're really stressed out, if you aren't eating well, you're not gonna be able to recover from as much volume. There may be times where less volume makes sense, but when we look at studies, even with non-responders, there was a study I'm thinking of very specifically where they showed that there are no non-responders to training. People who are non-responders simply need a higher dosage of volume in order to respond. So people who are hard gainers they actually just need more volume to get the same response as someone who does less volume. So they aren't as genetically gifted. But if we think about intensity, so intensity is your proximity to failure. That resistance training intensity, that is the drug. Volume is the dosage in terms of number of hard sets that you do. I'm not telling you to go out and do 10 sets of 10 on everything, that's not what I'm saying. You should probably get by with an amount of volume that allows you to feel recovered for the most part and that you make progress on. Understanding that over time, as your strength plateaus, as your performance plateaus, because you can't get stronger and do more reps forever, you will have to add more hard sets in order to continue progressive overload. 
If this is all sounding very confusing, this is why we created the BioLane Workout Builder because the BioLane Workout Builder takes all the guesswork out of how many reps you should do, how many sets you should do, what intensity you should use, but we group exercises in such a way that you can sub in exercises that are still equally as effective for producing hypertrophy for things that you enjoy doing better, or maybe you're at a gym that doesn't have access to a certain machine, or maybe you're at a home gym and you only have very limited access. We have programs to fit all that, and again, the way we group exercises, meaning you can still get maximum efficiency by substituting other exercises that you maybe prefer or have better access to. And so the BioLane Workout Builder gives you the flexibility where you need it, but it gives you the structure where you also need it. So structured flexibility is something I'm big on and the BioLane Workout Builder provides that for you. You can click the link in the description to sign up for that. It's only $12.99 a month. You get access to all our evidence-based programming. So I hope you guys liked the video. Sign up for the BioLane Workout Builder and I will catch you next week.